All right, so now we have 20 actions again, so we can go and get our clues and our authority. Because we've only got 14 clues and we've only got one authority. So let's go and get a lot more of that. <gasps> Another card I'm going to have to uh, discard. Anyway, so let's go with the Smiling Guildress. The Guild Miss 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 Miss. You miss miss? You miss miss? <clears throat> so, let's see, this is interesting. I can spend bags of royals, uh, clues, and prosperity to earn favor. Mm. Okay, no, we want clues. But it's almost impossible. We want clues. We don't want to spend clues. So let's ask for her advice again to gain a few clues. A few clues isn't so bad. Ugh. <clears throat> I refresh the page and then, it <laughs> and then it tells me I have to log in. Like seriously. Okay, well, did we... Okay, we gained a few clues. So we gained three clues. Now let's see what the bard has for us. Uh, yeah, let's, let's listen. There's probably a point somewhere. <laughs> and so many of them. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> so, what a remarkable group of people your courtiers are. Genuinely fascinating. Oh, I spoke yesterday to a scholar who is an expert in ducks. Oh, yes, I remember the ducks. And, uh, yes, yes, I remember. So, dignity and clues or prosperity. So, let's go for dignity and clues. Plus, it's super low risk, you know. A necessary irritation. Yes, they're annoying. Occasionally, it would please you to stab one of them, but their presence reflects Soho's prestige, and they are infrequently useful. <laughs> infrequently useful. <laughs> With little to do but gossip and intrigue, they can be a font, a font of information. All right, so I gain a bit of dignity. I'm still admirable, and just a few clues. Okay, okay. And we need to discard this. Now, if I want to continue this, mm, 20 clues. <clears throat> Let's just try to gain a few more clues, see if we can gain an authority while we're at it. So, the Herald. Okay. So, a maiden of your court begs a moment of your time. So who is not blessed in her neighbors? They are pompous, venal, dull, or mephatic, mephatic, except for one who is all for the shame of so. Yes, I remember reading that. So she has been talking with the herald, pink with nerves. She blurts, I know your grace plans to hold a tournament soon, but would it not be better to hold a dance? Yes, the dance again. So let's learn more about the dance. Tourney or Tourdillon? <laughs> let's twirl around in Val Royaume in Tourdillon. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, it's low risk and it increases dignity. So let's go hold the ball. The Tourdillon. Yay. Oh, 10 dignity. Admirable. It's not a good beat. Hmm. Fine lords and ladies form lines facing one another, and the lively music begins. It is a difficult dance to master. The arms are held stiffly at the sides, and the steps consist mostly of straight-legged hopping. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> It's not the most elegant of fast times, but the younger guests are thrilled to be contemporary. That's contemporary? Okay. We'll go with that. 
The bard wants another quiet word, this time about mercenaries and again look out. So let's go with the mercenaries. Troublesome guests, yes, the Feraldin at birth. All right, so risk prosperity to reduce peril, reduce peril and gain dignity. Trade peril and prosperity for clues. How much prosperity do we have? Mm, straightened. Mm, mm. You know, let's go with this because we need clues. Dining with a demon. He's charming with his waxed mustache and neat beard and tells scurrilous tales of his adventures between cups of your good wine. You are not fooled. He will smile as prettily when he's besieging the chateau or burning villages to extort tribute. But your courtesy reigns him in a little, and he's fiercely well informed about current events. Okay. <clears throat> so, seven clues. Oh, we gained peril, and we lost some prosperity. Okay. But that's not so bad. How many clues do we have? We have 27, so we, we won't be at zero. We won't be at zero. So, I think my uh, screen froze. Nope. Okay. So, we can corner the robbers. Finally, your investigation has uncovered the location of their lair. Let's go. Ah, oh, too late for justice. The woods hiss with rain as you crouch beneath a hunched oak, waiting for your scouts to return. When they do, they approach with more haste than caution. Someone got here first, my lord. The lookout is dead. His throat cut. The cave is a corpse yard. You'd better see this for yourself. Ooh, you found the bandit's lair. The cave. The cave stinks of death. A dozen bodies slump against the walls. Flies crawl over their pallid skin. Th those are the flies. Or maybe more annoying flies would like... Mm. <laughs> are there mosquitoes too? Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> Their lips and fingernails are black. <gasps> Poison! Judging by their coarse wools, coarse furs, and coarser hair, they were Ferelden, refugees from the fifth blight, no doubt, turned to banditry. Of their leader, the woman with the missing finger, there is no sign. At the back of the cave, you find most of the goods stolen from the merchants. Many of the chests have not even been opened. This is curious. What will you do with them? Oh, this is very curious. So I can requisition the goods, so the merchants don't really expect them back. You can put them to good use or return the goods to the merchant. They could be the first trickle in the, a river of gold flowing from Val Rayo. So yeah, let's go with that. Sanct sanction, sanctified. The merchants are dumbstruck. One of them declares his intent to buy the chantry and declare you anointed so that your kindness will be rewarded forever by the place, by a place at the maker's right hand. 
Oh, how, how kind. They are as lavish with their praise, praise, <laughs> when they return to Valroyau. Well, this is good. This is, this is very nice of them to want to anoint me. It could be really good for the reputation of Seru when the divine arrives. And other members of their members, members of their guild begin calling at Seru on their trade circuits. Oh, this is excellent. Wonderful. The only thing you keep is the open barrel of wine that stood in the middle of the cave. You have the purveyor of teas test it. Havard's grief, the purveyor tells you. An unsuitable toxin, but reliable. Very popular in the grand game, or so I am told. The woman who led the bandits has disappeared, but your agents continue the search Sooner or later, she will make a mistake. Yes, yes, yes. And she is the culprit for two, for two crimes now. This is, uh, I like these little cards because, uh, this is, uh, CSI stuff. We're, we're being a CSI. So, we gained two dignity. How many dignity? Two. This is excellent. We are admirable. Admirable. We gained, wow, 40 prosperity. Nice. Affluent. We are affluent. Our prosperity was like low. This is awesome. More secrets. Another secret. Oh, we gained authority. Excellent. Oh, we gained a tangled, another tangled web. Another case of the dashing outlaw. Oh, okay. The the card has gone, the quality has gone. Despite the attempt to frame her, the dashing outlaw was innocent in this. Yes, the proof is there, but we still have not found the culprit who is, the, we know, the missing finger culprit who also poisoned the dowager. <laughs> A tangled web. The springs are long and gentle and so, but tonight is cold. <clears throat> you settle by the fire in your chambers. Order a cup of spiced wine. Make sure that it's uh, safe. And stare into the flames as you muse on recent events. A pattern is emerging. There's more to your recent troubles than bad luck. Who is the nine-fingered woman and what is her goal? I wonder. Digging deeper. Is she acting alone? At whose command? Perhaps it's time to devote your attention to finding out. You have a new case card. Ooh. Pursue in the Great Hall. So, arriving at the Great Hall. <clears throat> So, let's see. You are convinced that a guiding hand is behind much of Soro's recent strife. In each case, a woman with red hair and nine fingers was at the root of the trouble. So, I can intensify the search, but I will need more clues. I can ask the wayward bard for his professional opinion, but I need a favor from him. And I can close the noose, but I need two cases and I need lots of clues. So we need to gather a lot more clues. <clears throat> so this is getting really, really interesting. <sighs> okay, let's go with the Wayward Bard. I just wanted to say, or look out. And let's go with the look out. So the knife was meant for you. Yes, again, another knife meant for us. So I can trade dignity. No, let's go for clues. This will allow clues. We interrogate the failed assassin. Follow the money. 
<laughs> who does he work for? Does he work for the nine-fingered woman? <laughs> Sensibly, he doesn't know names. Of course. Of course. He was buyered by an intermediary for an intermediary and was wise enough not to ask questions. But he was to be paid in royals, not crowns. That's not the currency of revolutionaries. Royals fill baronial and ducal purses. This was one of your rivals then, hoping to put an end to the House of Glass. Is it the Nine Figured Lady? So we gained clues. That's good. Let's go with Enlightenment. Enlightenment. I permit no more than one copy of book of any book in my library. Exactly, because he doesn't want more books uh, in his library. So is there anything that will... This is locked. Uh, is there anything uh, that will uh, give us uh, the clues? The clues. <laughs> A commotion in the plaza. And I almost, I almost read pizza. Maybe I'm craving pizza. A commotion in the pizza. If there's commotion in the pizza, then something's alive in there and the pizza's crawling and it's been there way too long and you do not want to eat it. So, we can go for the mob, we can go for the plaza. Let's go in the plaza. Dangerous words. Yes, the pig farmer joke. V laments the lot of the peasantry and questions noble rule. Is a, is a king born more wise than a pig farmer? Does a lone baron make better judgments than a council of commoners in open debate? Uh, many citizens pause in their business to listen. All right, so I can reduce rumors of revolution. I can increase freedom and rumors of revolution. I can reduce rumors of revolution and increase dignity. Eh. Let's go with the low risk challenge. Restoring the peace. You order him arrested. If nothing else, he's disrupting the business of the market. He shouts and raves as he's led away. But your guards are discreet. The crowd has forgotten him. Or, if not, they know better than to talk about it. Mm. Mm. So, alright. I'm going to have to discard this again. We still don't have enough clues. So, let's go for more. Oh, again, the uprising card. Because, uh, this will cost authority. Okay, so the purveyor of teas. He hears everything, well, everything illegal. So I can gain clues, but also gain rumors of revolution. I can spend it, so I don't want to know too much. Everything else is locked, so. Let's gain clues. Just the facts. Just the facts. Sip the tea. Sip and listen. Sip the tea and listen. Eight clues. We need 25, I think. So, let's go with the knight. Uh, okay, so, strange behavior in so skies with the crows. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of like lower pitch. And a brief study of the graffiti. Let's go with the crows. Augury! So, last week a flock of crows formed the shape of a dragon as they flew overhead. What do you suppose it could mean? So, Euphidia has a lot to say on the subject of oniscopy, of course, but much of it is contradictory. 
Petrin is largely useless on the matter, but she does reference a flight of sparrows forming the pattern of a sunburst during the second exalted march upon the Imperium, which makes me wonder if... Dot, dot, dot. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> Wheeling crows, for three days they have circled the south tower, croaking at dawn and dusk. <coughs> the cook's boy swears one of them carries a serpent in its claw, but he has always struggled with an excess of imagination. <laughs> so, I can call for the soothsayers, which is a straightforward challenge, and uh, I can spend some prosperity, we have a lot of it. And it'll reduce peril, and it'll gain clues. Reduce Carol and gain clues. <laughs> gain dyslexia. <laughs> but Twilight will increase. I Another straightforward, I can ignore the portents, reduce the Twilight, and gain prosperity or peril. No, but we want clues. This will increase Twilight, but may gain clues. Let's go with what's guaranteed. So we'll call for the soothsayers to read the signs. Forewarned, forearmed. Finding a decent soothsayer takes time and effort. You reject charlatans, lunatics, spies. The few augurs who have some genuine skill are made welcome and set to work. Eventually, are they Avar augurs? Eventually, they provide you with a list of portents to avoid. Some are clear, but inconvenient. A yellow moon, the fourth day of every month. <laughs> okay. A fork in the path when the wind is westerly. Okay. Others are bizarre. Fire with a heart of ice, the broken sun. A man with green fingernails. Green fingernails. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so, the, the fourth day of every month. Like, okay. <laughs> so, we gain twilight. So, shadows lengthen. We lost prosperity, but we're still affluent. We gained clues. New total of 30. And we lost some peril. Excellent. So we may move onwards. So I guess we can uh, continue with a case of a tangled web and go here. Intensify the search. You're convinced not a... Ah, I read this. Because <laughs> a woman uh, with red hair and nine fingers. So intensify the search. Leaf no leaf Leave no hiding place. Let's go! Closing in. The deeper you dig, the more lies you unearth. She has deceived merchants, criminals, revolutionaries, and nobles. Wow, she deceives like everyone. Everyone who knows her does so by a different name. Okay. She's never behind the doors your soldiers break down, or lurking in the hid oh, idiots. Idiots. <laughs> That's like hideouts, hideous, and idiots. Idiots. <laughs> so the so the hideous hideouts of idiots. Idiots. <laughs> that's a, that's a new word. Another new word. <laughs> Where was I? So. Uh, or lurking in the hideouts you bring to light. <laughs> Idiots. Uh, that's a good one. But each one is another bolt hole close to her. You're getting close. We're getting closer. But we spent clues. And we're going to need more clues. Because, let's see here. Okay, so we've got two cases here. We need 20 clues to close the noose. So we need 20 clues. All right. 20 clues. So we're going to we're going to take care of that and then we're going to send for the cheery baron. So let's discard this 
because we don't have enough bag of royals. Oh, not crazy. The cheery baron. Talk about the cheery baron. Oh, look. Spend viand to gain favor from the cheery baron. Okay. And we don't have to call on him for that. Or we can gain clues. But we want, we want this. So that didn't use up any authority. He doesn't respect anyone who doesn't have appetites. <laughs> the ri appetites. <laughs> and the rival his own indulgence. The meat is rich and red. Yes, I remember reading this. <laughs> so, excellent. Excellent. So now we have two favors. We just need one more and we didn't spend more authority. So that's, that's good. The Silent Hunter. We can earn clues, trade a trophy for his favor. No, we need we need trophies, and we don't have trophies. So let's earn clues. Whispers from the woods succeeded. Eight clues earned. So we're up at thirteen. That's good. That's good. More gnomic messages that bear fruit for us. And we can discard the uprising. Okay, okay. Again, the uprising. <laughs> His dower lordship. So, let's see. We can spend dignity to gain favor. <clears throat> uh... We can gain clues, but we'll also gain peril. And ask him to become your advisor. No, we don't want him as a as a counselor. So let's try to gain clues. A sympathetic ear. Alliance is better regarded than Soro. Yes, yes, yes. He has his finger on the nation's pulse and he advises us well. So we have gained eight clues. Excellent. New total of 21. Haha. -ha. So let's, well, let's do the enlightenment card. All right. So we can return, returning to the castle. You see a crowd gathering in the plaza. Again, the plaza. Or a commotion in the plaza. So either a crowd or a commotion. The crowd gave us dangerous words. Yes. So, ooh, a voice in the plaza. A crowd is gathering to listen to a man preach revolution in the plaza. He laments the lot of the peasantry whose toil puts fine clothes on noble backs. He mocks the idea that some are born to rule. In support of his case, he recounts scurrilous tales concerning the follies of Soro's high families. Some of them are true, but that doesn't make them less dangerous. So either we let him talk and increase Soro's freedom and rumors of revolution, we silence him, so it will reduce rumors of revolution, or we argue against him. It may reduce rumors of revolution and increase dignity. So let's, it's, it's a tough challenge, but let's chance it. Uh, yes, nobles are better suited to rule. They are raised from birth to do so. Could a priestess repair a mill? Could a miller lead an army? What would happen if we each forsook our place? So, rabble rousing. There's no reasoning with him. He plays to the crowd, mischaracterizing your position and mocking your refined speech. By engaging with him, you've given him legitimacy. The crowd's mood turns against you. Mwah. 
So, while we didn't lose anything, we've just gained rumors of revolution. Murmurs in the marketplace. Okay, well, I mean, that's not so bad. So, let's continue the case. Oh, darn, no. Oh, yes, yes. I was like, this, but this is what we want. Close the noose. You've burned her hiding places, peeled away her aliases, and hounded her trail. She won't escape this time, hopefully. Trapped. Your information puts her just at just a stone's throw from the chateau, disguised as a chanter in the town's chantry. You have your soldiers surround the building. Then lead a squad inside during the service. The priestess is incensed, but your quarry knows better than to run. I'm relieved, really, she says, pulling her hood back. Her red hair spills free. If I had to sing the chant, the canticle of bloody threnodies one more time, I'd have stabbed the precep preceptress. An elderly sister turns pale. The nine-fingered woman approaches you. Give me a hot meal, a fast horse, and a head start, and I'll give you what you want. She leans forward and whispers a name in your ear. <gasps> you have a new card, the spider in the web. Oh, so she's work. so she is doing it all, but she's working for someone so we lost 20 clues obviously we gained one more secret wow we're like up to eight secrets we know you know who is at the center of the web of troubles plaguing Soro. we have untangled the web an occurrence a tangled web quality is now five wow Hey. Wow, the spider is the spider in the web. His dour lordship looks up from his books when you enter with your guards. He tuts. Of course this is the outcome. I will of course deny any accusations. I'm an old hand at the game, scholar, and I doubt you've the influence to carry a decision against me, not shamed as you are. So, okay, so we can banish him, let him buy your silence. Despite his bluster, a scandal like this would hurt him. Playing the game is one thing, getting caught is another. Imprison him, this is no game. Ask him why. You'll hear it from his own mouth. Yeah, I, I want to know why. Let's find out. He stares at you as if you, as if you were mad. Why? Why? We're neighbors. If you're strong, I'm weak. If I want more land, I have to take yours. This is the grand game, child. Play or drown. <sighs> Sheesh. Okay, well, we're not going to ask him why again. So, I... Hmm. So I can banish him. Can imprison him. Eh. Let's imprison him. Breaking the rules. You can't. I am a Marquis of Orlais. This is not how the game is played. You take pawns, not kings. Your chevaliers drag him away. In the days after his imprisonment, a half dozen problems melt like spring snow. How many schemes was he involved in? With increasing desperation, he tries to buy his freedom with schemes that, 
with schemes was he was involved in. With increasing desperation, he tried... Oh, I... That's why I would like... I'm going back to the beginning of the line. Uh, with increasing desperation, he tries to buy his freedom with scandalous truths he's unearthed on half the families of Orlais. Perhaps the Empress will demand his release. Perhaps something unfortunate will happen to him in the cells. But for now, he can rot down there. So other schemers will learn something from his fate. So, counselor, his dower lordship hasn't changed because it's lower than one. Okay. So, good neighbor's quality has gone. Oh, lost 23 peril. Peaceful roads. Oh, that's interesting. I've lost 40 rumors of revolution. New total, nine. No signs of sedition. Oh, that's cool. I gained three secrets. Wow. New total of 11. Gained 40 prospect. Wow. A hundred. I am lavish. Lavish, I say. I gained three authority. Wow. New total of five. And your Seneschal records your decision. Excellent, excellent. Onward. The uprising was removed from your hand. Excellent, excellent. So, let's see. We need favors from the Cheery Baron. Can we do it when we send for him? So we have ten actions left. All right, so let's see. So, the Cheery Baron. All right. Spend viands to gain favor from the Cheery Baron. So let's go. Indulgence. The beat is rich and red. All right, so now we have three favors, favors from the cheery baron. So we'll send for him again. And uh, lost one authority. Now we have three. So, more. Excellent, excellent. So, go hunting with the Baron. Invite him to become your counselor. Yes. Make the Baron your counselor, increasing your daring do by 20. He will replace your current counselor. Yes. Go. The Baron comes to stand at your shoulder. A true ally. Marvelous idea! Bloody marvelous! You and me, we can make Soro everything she was meant to be. Strong, independent, proud. His thick finger stabs the table with each word. <laughs> When I look at you, that's an ever-changing accent. When I look at you, I see a bit of me looking back. Only a bit, mind. <laughs> There's a lot more of me than there is of you. But don't worry, we'll fatten you up, he laughs. <laughs> Life's a swift flight through a narrow room, scholar. And outside, the night is cold. Eat, hunt, live, love. That room's only as warm as you make it. All right. Cool. I thought it was three favors. It was two favors. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, we have an extra favor. So, the Seneschal's offense 
When he realizes his be he's being replaced, the plain-spoken seneschal huffs and splutters like a landed pufferfish. Now you have chosen new counselor. The hesitant seneschal will depart. So be it. If my advice isn't wanted, I shall keep it to myself. That would be marvelous. Go. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he's just getting started. Ugh. Ugh. I've given the best years of my life to this family. These were his best years? Poor fellow. During which I advise to the best of my ability. Oh, dear. Hey, it rhymes. Never applying my position to my own personal gain, except for it allowed access to your wine cellar. Instead, I have toiled without rest or ease. You had to poke him awake during court just yesterday, and therefore I see no alternative but to resign as your counselor immediately. I shall trouble you no more, your grace, finally. Finally! Hee <laughs> He departs in an offended swirl of safe, of stately robes, offended swirl of stately robes, returning a few moments later to collect his hat. So like, and then it comes back. Whoops. Thanks. You pretend not to notice as he shuffles out again. So it's like grand exit. And then hoot to -hoo comes back. Another grand exit. How many times is he going to come back for more grand exits, you know? Anyway, onward. All right. So, the Cheery Baron, now our daring do. 23 plus 20. So, we technically... We could go hunting now. It says here we have seven actions remaining. So if we go hunting, let's attempt to go hunting. Choose your quarry. Oh, a wyvern. You need its venom to cure the usurpic dowager of her poison. Right. Right. And I need clues. Several trophies. You need rumors of a Bereskarn. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go for the Wyvern. Yes. So, a dangerous prey. Catching the beast will be the least of your troubles. Many is the wyvern hunter who has died screaming under the if under the effects of their poison. Mm. Yes, yes. All right. So go hunting. All right, so I can bring the hounds, I can get an early start, and I can seek the Baron's advice. Oh, so I need a fa Ah, excellent. That's why I needed three favors. This will grant free progress at the start of the hunt. So go. And we still have Yams to earn more favors to go and get trophies later on. So that's good. <clears throat> so seek the Baron's advice. He's terrorized the denizens of the Applewoods for decades. So years of experience. It doesn't matter where your quarry is. It matters where they'll be, where they'll hide, what'll make them break cover. When they'll re when they'll run, and where they'll run to, because that's where you want your arrow to be. So already eight closing in. Wow. Okay. 
fool. Uh, so, eight closing in, and we'll get an early start on top of it. Uh, well, no, let's go with the provisions because our health is low. So, well stocked. All right, onward. Now, let's go right away into the apple woods. Ah, oh, we need clues. Okay, perhaps not. Okay, so let's see here. Well, it's always good to speak to the people. So, let's speak to them. So, surprisingly well informed, the crone huddles in the leaning hut, tugging a ragged cloak tight against the drafts that whistle through the numberless cracks in the walls. In a dull voice, she tells you a trickle of tidbits about the wood, and a torrent of gossip from every corner of Soho. Ooh. So it succeeded in a rulership challenge. So gained another closing in. Woodswise has increased to 29, and I gained clues. Excellent, excellent. So the hunters trail. Both are chancy. So daring do. This is 51, and this is 58%. So let's go with the one that has better odds. Wise beasts learn to avoid the trails, so let's go with that. Thorns. Darn. Failed. Lost 10 health. Exhausted. Alright, let's go with the swift stream. Oh, let's enter the deep woods. Yes. They're all chancy, so... Ooh, exhausted, L lost more health, forgotten by the sun. Upstream, the trees are old and stooped. They lean closely together, their leaves whisper. Long shadows stretch beneath the boughs. Dark leaves whisper. Few dare the deep woods. Perhaps your quarry was counting on that. So, what failed in the woods wise, only eight hours remain. But we, ha we had a head start. We had a good head start. So let's see. We have a glade, we have another stream, and we have dense undergrowth. So let's go with the glade. So, herbs. Alone. Uh, yeah, let's gain health. So, gain 20 health. Okay, dreams. The thick fragrance of the flowers tugs, <laughs> tug you into a dream-laden sleep. You see a living chapel. Uh, inhabited by wolves and a silver cup filled with the blood of the earth. You awake refreshed, but in a fey mood. All right, well, the, the fragrance tugged us. Fragrance of flowers tugs you into deep laid, dream laid in sleep, yes. Well, what what scent are the, are the flowers? Is it Alderanian nectar? <laughs> and we've gained twilight, shadows lengthen. Ooh, well, we are hunting a wyvern, so. Uh, dense undergrowth. So we can hack through. Oh, send in beaters. It's low risk. It's low risk. Succeeded. Revealed. <gasps> Your party spreads out into the undergrowth. 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 Whacking thickets and bellowing fearsomely. In the distance, you hear something fleeing the noise. Your quarry? Okay. 
Okay. The stream. So I can forward the screen, the scream, <laughs> the scream, the stream, or check the banks for tracks. Both are chancy. So let's forward the stream. Succeeded in a daring do. Across the stream, you splash through. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. That's me splashing through. Splish, splash, sploosh. Picking up the trail on the other side, your boots squelch as you continue the chase. It's like walking through a slush. Uh, all right. Ooh. Okay, okay, we're we're closing in, we're getting there. Okay, another stream, more dense undergrowth. Let's look at the tracks. A hunter's trail. Okay. Follow the trail. Let's follow the trail. They're all chancy. Let's follow the trail. Fruitless. Oh, darn. <sighs> okay. Let's go with the stream. Uh, the second stream. They're both chancy. Maybe he paused to drink this time. Succeeded, wise to their tricks there. Tracks at the water's edge, your quarry crossed, emerging downstream in an attempt to throw off pursuit. The tracks are not so old, still slowly filling with oozing water. Okay, you total 18 closing in. <gasps> Hot on the trail. You're gaining on your quarry and have a chance to capitalize on your advantage. How far will you push your luck? So I can either gain closing in, but become a lot. I already have a lot of closing in. Uh, I can pace myself. So you won't gain any ground on your quarry, but you won't suffer any com complications either. Or you will gain closing in, but become noisy. Let's. Okay, let's. I'll be alone. Going it alone, ignoring their cries, you race through the trees in pursuit of your quarry. You're gaining ground. You are alone. <gasps> the wyvern is cornered. It turns. Its crest flared. Its teeth are sharp as knives and slick with venom. <sighs> Rawr. Whatever. So, I can either slay it alone... You'll only get one shot at this. If you fail, your health will be reduced to zero. Not good. Go back to gather your companions. Ah, oh, distract yourself. So let's go back and gather companions. The better part of valor. You back carefully away. The wyvern watches you unblinking. When you're out of its sight, you break the race in search of your party. They come at your call, and you lead them back on the wyvern's trail. Okay, okay. Damn, damn, damn. I shouldn't have been alone. So I can hack through. Okay, let's do the glow risk. Revealed. Your party spreads out into the undergrowth. Yes, yes. Okay. Ah, oh, the day is over. Darn. Ah. Oh. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. I hate this. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Oh. Return to the castle. So. Oh. So now I know that to, for the wyvern, I can't be alone. <sighs> Back at the chateau. So, we need more clues and we're going to need favor. We've got provision. We're going to need favor with... Okay. Uh, meeting with the outlaw. Okay. 
go with that. Maleficarum. Okay, gain dignity, reduce twilight, and gain clues. So let's go, let's attempt to gain clues. Excellent. So, to the edge of the Tirisha. So I'm guessing that to succeed, we need, when we go hunting, let's make sure we have enough clues, ample clues, next time we go hunting so that all our options are open to us. The Scornful Sorceress. Okay. So, let's see. You may gain clues and learn more about your guest. So this is Chansey, 58%. Straightforward, 100%. Almost impossible, tough. Larisk. We haven't asked her about her magic yet. So let's do that. You meet her in the corridor late one night, returning to her room after her day's work. Her staff glows with a clear blue flame, picking out every drifting mote of dust. The blue flame blazes, then dims to a cool ember. Magic thrives on use. A mage who fears her magic cannot master it. When the demons come calling, she will not have the stra strength to deny them. The circles are a cage made from fear. I cannot decide who is more stupid. The ones who built the cage are the ones who allow themselves to be put in it. So I succeeded and gained ten clues. Road and River It took two days to return from the Pestulaire. For the road reeled like drunk hard. I thought of replacing it with a wide straight route like ones that score the Imperium, raised above the rains and flagstoned in white like a chantry altar. But I'd not trade those two days of all the gift in Valroyau, the dappled sunlight, the cheery songs of peasants in the field. Barley ripping like a sea of gold, the shame of Soro. The travelers on Soro's sun-baked roads and white rivers are scarce and must be protected. So which is the most important matter? So here I can't do this. So I can examine the wares or I can upsurge in banditry. Let's examine the wares. Patter. Pitter patter. All right, trade bags of royals for prosperity and clues, trade bags of royals for dignity and clues, try to gain freedom. Hmm. She has traveled a long way, her horses are weary, her guards are dusty from the road, and her brightly covered caravan is piled high. Silver loops gleam in her ears as she beckons you forward to show her wares. All right, let's see here. Uh, prosperity is lavish. Dignity is pretty admirable. Freedom is low. So let's try to gain freedom now. Upwardly mobile. <laughs> Including the locations and times of, mo of the markets, let her goods find homes among your people. So normally, the few Antiven fabrics that reach Soho are snapped up by the gentry. Now, fortunate peasants wear bright selene blue and sumptuous purple mantles from the dye vats of Treviso. A few of them begin to get ideas above their station. I kind of fail, so I gain five freedom. It's wretched. And I gain rumors of revolution. No sign of sedition. Well, I mean, that's not so bad. 
So, all right. So we need we need more clues. Lots, a lot more clues. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna need favor, because if I want to go hunting, we're gonna need favor from our counselor, the cheery baron. So. Ooh, the cheery baron. Spend viands to gain favor with the cheery baron, so that'll be done. Excellent, we won't have to send for him. So that'll be ready for next time. Now we need a ton of clues. So a meeting with the outlaw. Uh, the woods wake. Yeah, let's go for the woods. Woods wisdom is always good. So increase increase peril, but reduce prosperity. Uh, reduce twilight. Twilight is pretty high. In, increase in peril is really low, you know. So this will increase Zoro's twilight and decrease her peril. But we need ten peril. I have four, so that's no use. We gain authority. Oh yes, this is good. Let's gain authority. Authority is always good. Busy, busy. All right, the purveyor of teas. So let's see. I can gain clues. It's high risk. May also gain rumors of revolution. I don't have enough authority to. Yeah. Yeah. Flames of freedom, no. Okay. That's locked. That's locked. Your accomplice. Ah, see, I don't have an accomplice yet. So to make the purveyor of teas your accomplice, he's, his singular talents are hard to come by outside of revolutionary cells. Outer nests and the empress's picnics. Make the purveyor your accomplice, increasing your cunning by 20. He will replace your current accomplice. Well, I don't have an accomplice. I need favor from him. But I need to spend authority to earn favor from him. Ugh. Okay, okay, so I need a lot more authority, so I don't know if I want him as my accomplice. It's, uh, it's, uh, it costs a lot. So let's go with uh, the clues. It's the only one we can do. Ulterior motives. He pulls back his sleeves, pours you both tea, and gossips flamboyantly. The secrets pour out so quickly it's hard to catch them all, but you know that half must be false. A cloud of smoke to mask the activities of revolutionary friends? Or is he only trying to impress you? So, we gained rumors of revolution, but that's okay, we're, you know, and we gained some clues onward. Alright, so we're going to have to continue gaining clues when we get back in several hours continue to gain clues so that then we can go hunting again we have our favor from our cheery baron so we can take him again and we know when we go hunting for the wyvern this time we have to we can't be alone we cannot be alone and hopefully we'll succeed so I'm gonna, when I come back, I'm gonna go for more clues and then hopefully all the options will be open and more authority will be good. More clues will be good, more authority will be good. That's, uh, that's the short-term goals. And I think it's gonna be another market day in a few hours. So that'll be interesting to see which card comes up at that time. All right, so back in a